Have you ever met someone who acts like a god among humans? Someone who considers themselves perfect? Such people are often described as having a god complex, otherwise known as a superiority complex. In fact, in Shakespeare's Hamlet, the lead character Hamlet is believed to have somewhat of a god complex. A god complex is a delusional image of oneself driven by a hunger for power, a desire to manipulate everyone, and a strong sense of narcissism. People with a God complex are energy vampires that drain your emotional energy. Despite all the similarities to narcissistic personality disorder, a God complex is just a personality flaw that's not classified as a diagnosable disorder. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to spot someone who has a God complex by recognizing these 10 significant signs that we'll be exploring in this video. Make sure to watch until number two because it's one of the most interesting signs we've ever seen. Number 10. They're full of egotism. According to clinical social worker DeAndrea Blaylock Johnson, the biggest indicator of a God complex in a person is when they're full of egotism. People with a God complex think very highly of themselves and have little or no regard for others. They believe they're the smartest person in the group and only they know the best. No one is capable of arguing with them. These people think that they can do whatever they want and that they're always justified in their actions. The feelings of other people aren't on their radar. They don't care what you think. According to Blaylock Johnson, it's referred to as a God complex because it's this idea that I am authority. Multiple failures and insecurities might be the root cause of a God complex. For example, if a person tries to achieve a specific goal and doesn't succeed, they might handle the stress of failure by pretending to be above it. This behavior eventually leads to a superiority complex. Number nine, they always interrupt you. Everyone wants to be heard. And this is a lesson that someone with a God complex doesn't get. People with a God complex can't just sit quietly and listen to others. They're chronic interrupters who have no idea they're even doing it. No matter what you're talking about, they don't even blink before they interrupt you. Research published in the Journal of Pragmatics suggests three types of interruptions, power interruptions, rapport interruptions, and neutral interruptions. In power interruptions, the interrupter interrupts to control the conversation, exactly like a person with a God complex might. They shift the whole conversation back onto themselves just to appear superior to the audience. People with a God complex believe they're incapable of making mistakes, so they're the only one whom everyone should listen to. This might hurt your self-esteem, but unfortunately they don't have any interest in your feelings. Number eight, they only care about their image. People with a God complex only care about how they come off to others. Their image is the most important thing to them. In fact, from the very first time you met them, you might have felt that they're perfect in every way. They're well-spoken, ambitious, sweet, and always at your service. They keep in touch with you, make picnic plans, and get into the character of a perfect partner. However, once you have spent some time with them, you might realize they're not as perfect as they appear. All those nice gestures were only because they're extremely conscious of how others perceive them. People with a God complex believe they're perfect, so everyone should consider them the same. Their personality should be complete and flawless in the eyes of everyone. This is why they exceptionally care about how they come off to others. Number seven, they constantly seek external validation. Although they appear extremely confident, People with a God complex have cripplingly low self-esteem, which urges them to constantly seek external validation. They have fragile self-esteem, which according to experts at Carnegie Mellon University, is the most important manifestation of insecurity. Fragile self-esteem involves the positive self-feelings that are vulnerable to challenges and require continual promotion and protection. People with a superiority complex have an excessive desire for external admiration, praise, and acknowledgement. They want you to be extremely grateful just because they're in your life. They do so to shatter your self-esteem and make you believe that you're nothing without them. External validation feeds a person emotionally. That's why narcissists and people with a God complex crave it. Number six, they often act selfishly. A general description of people with a God complex is that they don't care about others. They act inconsiderate, rude, and selfish. People with personality flaws like a God complex believe they're above all others, so they have the right to act selfishly and make decisions on their own. This is because of their tendency for self-absorption and lack of empathy. They never think about how their actions are influencing others. According to them, other people only exist to meet their needs. This explains why people with a God complex act selfishly and see others as pawns. By the way, 
Make sure to subscribe if you've learned something new today. Number five, they can't stand criticism. People with a God complex often show narcissistic features. Just like narcissists, they can't stand criticism. They personify themselves as perfect, so they never admit that they did wrong. Experts suggest that the ability to take criticism depends on how secure we feel about ourselves. People with a God complex have unstable self-esteem, which leads to emotional problems and poor self-control. When criticized, these people show themselves woefully incapable of retaining any emotional poise. Phrases like, you shouldn't have done that, or you are mistaken, don't even exist in their dictionary. They would rather turn around and blame you for their mistakes. According to a 2020 study from Oregon State University, narcissists don't take advice from others. They don't trust anyone as they think they are better than other people. They are simply incapable of accepting their mistakes. Number four, they judge everyone around them. People with a God complex are relentless judges. They believe that it's their right to look down on others' activities with disapproval. Science says that personality types vary from person to person, and making judgments about other people's choices is part of the picture. However, constantly nitpicking others and insulting them isn't normal. People with a God complex believe that only they are perfect, so they keep putting their nose in others' business. They never hesitate to judge other people. They're totally inconsiderate when it comes to others' achievements. According to mental health experts, people judge others only to feel better about themselves because they lack self-love and self-acceptance. This is why dealing with people with a God complex might drain all your emotional energy. So it's better to know your limits and avoid such people. Number three, they exploit every relationship for their benefit. For people with a God complex, the only thing that matters is their ego. Long-term relationships never work out for them as they exploit every relationship for their benefit. A lot of partners dating someone with a God complex are left tired and helpless after their partners have ripped them off both emotionally and financially. People with a God complex are narcissists who find it difficult to maintain long connections because of their manipulative tendencies and lack of empathy. According to them, everyone, including you, should be at their service. That's why they might blame, shame, or even ignore your feelings. In some cases, they might act helpless to attract your attention. Once they have you in their trap, they'll show you their true colors. So the best thing you can do for yourself is to never go back to such people. Number two, they gaslight others. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation that often occurs in abusive relationships. This happens when an abuser tries to control their victim by twisting their sense of reality or by sowing self-doubt and confusion in their minds. Gaslighting is common among narcissists and people with a God complex. These people are so self-absorbed that it becomes difficult for them to recognize or accept another person's feelings. There are many reasons why someone with a God complex gaslights others. The important one is that they want to gain control over their partner. They might plan to emotionally abuse others to gain control and power over them. It's not easy to realize that you're being subjected to gaslighting, but some signs like feeling insecure, powerless, confused, and disappointed in yourself indicate that your partner is gaslighting you. The best way to deal with this type of abuse is to gain some distance or even end the relationship. Number one, they're addicted to power. All humans desire power, but people with a God complex crave it. Studies show that power activates the reward center in the brain and creates an uncontrollable desire to dominate others. As the name indicates, people with a God complex think that they are the ultimate superheroes in this world. No one else can be at their level. Seeking power within limits is healthy. It motivates you to achieve your goals. However, an endless desire to control all aspects of others' lives is intoxicating. People with a God complex are obsessed with gaining complete control over others. Every tiny detail should go according to their plans. This doesn't mean that they are confident. In fact, this behavior is the substitute for their low self-esteem. They believe that they are error-free and so have the right to meddle in others' affairs. People might mistake this craving for power as ambition, but they're wrong. Those with a God complex misuse the power to hide their insecurities and feed their fragile self-esteem. And if you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment.